Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this evening's edition of Hasten to Goodness. Please follow us on Facebook, 3w.facebook.com slash TV, as well as Hasten to Goodness. And feel free to leave your, your posts and comments there, uh, inshallah. I'm joined by Sheikh Kareem Abu Zaid. As usual, Sheikh, thank you for being with us. Jazakallah khair malik. It's always a pleasure to be with you. No, no. But it's why are you angry? <laughs> Sheikh, actually, I was want to talk why about... Why are you angry? Sheikh, I'm not, I, I was actually wanting to talk about today that topic, anger. <laughs> because <laughs> He's I... He's not angry. I'm just <laughs> trying Sheikh. to set him up. <laughs> I do notice, Sheikh, uh, perhaps it's A lot of people are angry, right. Malik. Even on the way to work, yes, uh, yes. people driving, people are fighting, people are yes. angry with our spouses, with our children, we're argumentative at work. It's becoming, sometimes we even lose it, I mean. Yes, no, certainly. And Don't then, you get angry sometimes? Uh, I do sometimes. Uh, and we consider yeah. ourselves to be, you know, we're trying to be practicing Muslims, and yes. we still get angry. Yes. And sometimes people agitate you to get angry, and then you fall for it and you get angry. So how can we control anger? How can we prevent anger before it happens? I think first, why there is so much anger? Okay. Number one, I think, um, and let's talk about us all here. Uh, we have not taken the preventative measures to to stop it before to it stop starts. It. Um, uh, you see, the Prophet so ﷺ, when he w when he spoke about salatul layl, when you wake up to pray at night, for example, the person will wake up in the morning tayyibun nafs, that his spirit is very pure. You know, he's going to be cheerful and smiling. So but someone who does not wake up to pray at night, asbaha khabith al nafs, his soul will be very impure. Basically, you know, waiting for a fight, waiting for somebody just to trigger him. Right. <laughs> and, and subhanAllah, you can tell when you drive in the morning who prayed Fajr on time. <laughs> from who did not wake <laughs> up for Fajr. <laughs> Why do you say that, Sheikh? Uh, you can tell from the face. From the face. The, 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 you can tell that the person who woke up and prayed, yeah. whether it is Tahajjud or Fajr, you know, uh, one of the two, um, or both, of course, it has to be both. Uh, you can tell that he is tayyibun nafs, that he is uh, yeah, cheerful. Right, right, right. Assalamu alaikum, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> Good to see you. But the other one's like... Grumpy. Grumpy and waiting for somebody to... To set him off. Come on, it's still morning here. Just leave me alone. <laughs> my coffee. Man, I haven't taken my coffee yet. You know, right. like. Grumpy. I think the, the second reason is the misconception in the minds of a lot of people. Uh, and I say people because anger, again, is a humane thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They believe that anger and being loud and, and noisy and being mean is a sign of strength when it is in reality a sign of weakness. Right, they take it as a, 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 like a, a thing of a manhood. Right. I'm strong, I'm I, can strong. I can beat you when up. When the Prophet so wasallam says this, لَيْسَ الشَّدِيدُ بِالسُّرَعَ the, the one who possesses strength is not, strong. Is not the one who uh, yells and, and, and d beats everyone down. No. Right. مَن عِنْدَ الغضب. But the true strength is when you contain your timber, when you control your timber, when you get angry. So this uh, is the true strength. Okay. So there is a misconception, especially amongst the, the, the our youth. Right, who are bodybuilding. Yes, and, like and, and body, they, they see strength in... And, and beating everybody down and, and so forth, and it's the wrong way to look at it. Uh, way to look at it. Okay, Sheikh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. You guys at home, stay tuned. Uh, to learn more about anger, manage how, anger management and how to control your anger, and also preventative measures, uh, how to stop getting angry before you actually get angry, which is a great technique as well. You guys, stay tuned for more. Hasten to goodness. has dawned upon us with its merits and blessings combined in it the Quran was given to Muhammad peace and blessings be upon his soul without Iman being Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh this is your brother Gabe at Romani please join me live this Ramadan Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. UAE time live from Dubai and also which corresponds with 1 to 2 p.m. GMT time for Ramadan spirit. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with an amazing month, Ramadan, a month of reaffirming our spirit, of reaffirming our faith, of reconnecting with the speech, with the Quran, of fasting, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that this is for what? To achieve taqwa. Please join me as I will bring some amazing guests, amazing topics, such as the revelation of the Quran, miracles of the Quran, the importance of fasting, the importance of brotherhood in Islam, the importance of knowing the history of Islam during Ramadan, and many other things. Join us live. Buddha, a light in every home. The blessed month has dawned upon us with its merits and blessings combined. In it, the Quran was revealed to Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon his soul. Without Iman being uplifted from reading the Holy Quran. Welcome back to Hasten to Goodness. We're talking uh, about anger management, how to control your anger with Sheikh Kareem Abu Zaid. Sheikh, thank you for being with me, and, and uh, I certainly appreciate it. It's a pleasure, Malik. Sheikh, uh, I always am amazed when I drive down the street or I'm in the supermarket, whether here or abroad, and I see people get angry over something that seems very small. And then I'm even more amazed when I myself get angry over something that's very small, and then I always regret it. And I say, oh, why didn't I control my temper? Why did I get angry? And this affects your iman. You become a little bit sad, and you... You feel like, yeah, I'm not that Muslim that I want to be. So why is that? Why are people getting angry? Why do we get angry over something that seems very small? Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika lah, wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. We need to uh, start this by uh, uh, stressing that the source of anger is shaitan, is Satan. Satan wants to get you angry and he plots all these plots to get that you anger going. Right. Because when you're angry, you're not in control. He is in control. Uh, imagine uh, something that even Prophet Musa's anger was lawful. Uh, we call it lawful anger. He was angry because uh, they worship the calf. They worship the calf in his absence. Right. Uh, you know the scene when Prophet Musa alayhi salam went to speak with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from behind uh, the veil. And when he returned with the Torah uh, in, in uh, the right. tablets yes. in, in his hands. And as soon as his eyes landed on his qawm, uh, on his people uh, worshipping the calf, he couldn't bear it. He couldn't take it. And he actually looked at to the extent that he, 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 he threw the, 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 the table. He grabbed Aaron, uh, his, his brother, brother Harun, with his, uh, from his beard. وأخذ برأس, uh, his, his beard and, and his head, the hair of his head. And وأخذ برأس أخيه يجره إليه. Look after this, Malik. After, uh, here is what I'm looking for. Here is the witness. ولما سكت عن موسى الغضب and when anger let Musa go. Uh -huh. So anger was what? Con controlling, controlling, controlling him. Musa. Right. Right. So when so you're, right. even so we want to stress this, that his anger was lawful anger. Right, right. But uh, uh, in general, when we're angry, you're not in control. Okay. Uh, who's in control? Shaitan. And shaitan uh, wants you to be in that state so that he gets the best out of you. Uh, the first thing that he gets, really, uh, especially if you're, uh, mashallah, if, if the person is decent and he would know that anger is not a good thing, uh, the first thing that you start uh, doing is regretting the fact that you're angry. And, and this right, is, right. why did I do this? Right. You know, that, that the self uh, repuking, uh, reproach, uh, you know, uh, blaming. Uh, right, right. Uh, self blaming, self reproach. Self reproaching. You know, why did I do this? Right, right. You feel Come the on. guilt. You feel the guilt. Why did I do this? Y you really feel guilty. Right. Uh, so the first thing that he wins against you uh, is, is the fact that he gets you to, uh, to feel, bad about, feel bad about yourself. And it's a very terrible feeling. I, right, I want to tell right. you that. It's not, an, it's not something that you. It's, it's a bad feeling. You right. live with it for two, three days. It causes depression. In it, it causes being. depression. It, yeah. it affects your deen. It, 
you, you know, as if Satan tells you, I told you that you're no good. Yeah. I told you that mm, you're not what you think you're you not are. what you try to be. I told you you're never going to be attained that. You're mine. Right. Y you know, so he makes you fail in front of you. This is number one. Number two, he gets you to get in a lot of trouble. Uh, the first thing is destruction of uh, relationships. Uh, people around you will, will start uh, uh, destining themselves from right. you. وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضًّا غَلِيظَ الْقَلْبِ لَنْ فَضُّوا مِنْ حَوْلِكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the messenger of Allah if you were harsh, uh, your heart is harsh and, and if you were um, uh, not pleasant uh, people are not going to be around you uh, and, and, and especially if you're in the work of da'wah uh, uh, you know the, the, the anger should be uh, Oh for sure, I mean these people have a uh, or on a higher level they should be why why did they call the messenger of allah the disbelievers a sorcerer a magician why Sahir, why you know what does the sorcerer does to people he attracts people he gets people attention the rasul sallam was not a sorcerer but he got his, their attention because of what because of his leniency because of his character because of his softness because of his rifq you know uh, the, when the, uh, the, 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 the Jewish uh, group of people passing by him and they, they said to him, Assalamu alayka, death upon you. Uh, and Aisha radiallahu anha ran after them, uh, you know, cursing them and, and calling them names because they, uh, they invoked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the Prophet would die. Uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called him, no, ya Aisha, don't do this. Al-rifq la yakunu fi shay'in illa zana. وَلَا يُنزَعُ مِنْ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا شَيْءٍ Kindness and, and softness and leniency, uh, when it's uh, in something, it will decorate it, will give it a good uh, uh, package. package. But when it's taken away, it's, it's an awful thing. Fa I think the first point that we need to establish, that uh, anger, the source of anger, is shaitan. Okay. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, <coughs> one day he was sitting with his companions, and it looks like there was another circle uh, to the side of them. So, Hadith Sulaiman ibn Surad, a famous hadith and the Muslim. So, one of the people got so angry at somebody else. You know, and, and when you get angry, uh, you know, you know, you're, 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 you're yeah, when, you, when you really get really angry right, and, right. and you start speaking, uh, then the spit comes out point, of your yeah. mouth. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, actually, uh, one, of, one, of the, uh, one of the best ways, Malik, I found out that helps you to stop anger, to stop being angry and have a good anger management, is seeing other people getting angry. And see how foolish they look. And man, is <laughs> that how I look when I'm angry? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do this again. Yeah. You know? One of the best ways, actually. To, 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 yeah. to look at other people, yeah. um, you know, I hope nobody gets angry, but it's one of the, so this companion was like, you know, he, then Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, was sitting down and he said, well, I know a statement, a word, he said a word, yani a, a sentence. Right, right. If he would say it, لَذَهَبَ عَنْهُ مَا يَجِدْ He's not, he's going to stop doing this. If he would say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانَ الرَّجِيمِ Again, I'm trying to establish what? That the source of anger is, is who? The, is the devil. Is the devil. I seek refuge with Allah from the curse Satan. Imagine, a Rasul uh, something to learn from that situation. A Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was okay. sitting far away from him and he said, he was addressing the people around him. He did not ask any of them to go and tell him that. Wow. A companion volunteered to go and tell him that. Say, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. You know what the uh, other companion said? To, Why? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm crazy? That also tells you that when somebody's angry, right. don't talk to them. Oh. Don't, don't try to increase their anger. Don't agitate them. Don't agitate them. Right. And this is a big mistake. Uh, you know, anger mm -hmm. management uh, really uh, is not about the person who's angry. Is about the people around him. How do you manage that person when he right, gets angry? Right. Especially if he's known of get, uh, getting anger. We learn from that hadith. Here is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sitting down, and he is not far away from the companion. Right. He did not ask any so of them right. to go and tell him that. That's the but this companion volunteered. He said, "I know a statement. 
you know. But now, is he the right person to be reminded of this now? Not in that state. N not everybody will accept yeah, that. Yeah. There are some people who, when they get angry, and you know quite, you know their quality of faith, that, uh, brother, say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim. Oh, okay, Astaghfirullah, A'udhu right, Billahi right, right. Some people will actually heed, but this companion was not from that type. And, and that goes to, you know, and, uh, to, to. Fa the first thing that we need to establish here, uh, Malik, is anger from shaitan. Okay. And that's a one. And why? Because when you're angry, you're in a position that shaitan can get you. Okay. And, and that is why, by the way, one of the ways to manage anger is to change your position. A lot of the people do not know uh, the wisdom behind that, that if you're sitting down, uh, yeah, you down. can stand up or lay down. If you're standing up, sit down. Change your position. And why is that? Well, literally, because shaitan possesses you. Shaitan. Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ يَجْرِي مِنْ إِبْنِ آدَمْ كَمَجْرَ الدَّمِ فِي الْعُرُوقِ Shaitan runs, uh, circulates into our veins uh, like blood circulates. Now, he is inside. He is somehow inside you. And when you change that position, this is uh, my ta'wil, my interpretation. It can be wrong, of course. I don't have a text that says that. But when you change your position, you're making the... Uh, the stay inside you uh, very uncomfortable right. to shaitan right. and possibly while you're changing your position you can recollect yourself again right. and dismiss that anger and 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 and, and right. let it go Sheikh, Sheikh, there are different types of anger for example there's an anger that a man and his wife maybe they have a misunderstanding there's an anger between men i would like to speak about that especially with youth you know uh we get angry with each other and we want to beat each other up especially teenagers, we're in college, we play sports, we lift weights. Mm -hmm. I have big muscles, I'm strong, I'm stronger than you, You're, I'm bigger than you. This, how, how can we learn that this type of anger is wrong, how to avoid this type of anger, this kind of prideful anger, this anger between men? Well, uh, I think, um, <coughs> to begin with, Malik, we are commanded not to get angry, to begin with, for any reason. <coughs> Uh, whether it is lawful reason or unlawful reason like you mentioned that somebody uh, hurt your uh, your bride or, or attacked right, your, right. your dignity in, in, in a way <coughs> uh, when you get angry uh, get angry the way the messenger got angry this is number one and let that anger be triggered by uh, the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, what do I mean Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never got angry because of himself. Never because someone insulted him. Not to... Um, For himself. Not to regain his personal pride. pride. Okay. But he got angry because Allah was disobeyed. Or the boundaries, here's how it's, uh, it's stated. Worded, uh, stated, the boundaries of Allah were transgressed in front of him. Okay. That's... <coughs> okay. So... No ego. No, no ego. ego. No ego. Don't get angry. That's why we, we, we labeled uh, Prophet Musa's anger to be lawful anger. Why? Because he was not angry because of him. Right, because of the law. He, of the law. he, he <coughs> did not get angry because um, the people did this in his absence. How you guys did not respect me in my absence. No, he got angry because the people are worshiping the calf. They right. are committing shirk. Right. Polytheism. Yes. So... Uh, uh, we're not supposed to get angry unless uh, if the uh, boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are transgressed. But we must also uh, realize that anger must contribute, must lead to the stoppage of this. Right. Like in a way when I get upset, I have treated the situation. I ended up teaching something. Sheikh, we have a report here by Brother Norman Ali Khan who's speaking about anger, in domestic anger, anger in the family between spouses. And this is very important and perhaps sure. we can discuss it after the break, inshallah. Sure, after sure. the report, rather. Sure. You guys take a look at this report by Brother Norman Ali Khan and we will be right back with more from Sheikh Karim Abu Zaid. Get angry. Little things, little things at work, little things at the home. Easily, the, the wife gets angry at the husband. Very easily, the husband gets angry at the wife. Little, little things make you, make you angry at the children. 
Learn to swallow your anger. Become a person that perseveres through these things. If little things annoy us, if little, little things get angry at us, you know, make us upset, how do we expect Allah Azza wa to forgive our big sins? We expect from Allah that He doesn't get angry at us. And yet here we are exacting anger at every little thing. It shows a lack of restraint. So, وَالْكَاظِمِينَ al الْغَيْظِ And the second, the next attribute, وَالْعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ Very difficult. They forgive people out of love. Not غافرين Not غافرين عافين غافر is someone who forgives But عاف is someone who forgives out of love You know when you forgive someone and they offend you and you forgive them First of all most people say brother I know that was a nice khutbah and I know I should forgive but my situation is special You don't understand this guy was really messed up He doesn't deserve forgiveness By the way you never forgive someone who deserves it by definition, forgiveness means to give it to somebody who doesn't deserve it. And you're not forgiving for them. You're not exacting forgive. you're not giving them forgiveness because they want it. Or because they deserve it. You're doing it for yourself because you want to be in this list. You want to be among these people that are considered muttaqeen. That's why they forgive people. Especially those who work for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. If you volunteer at a masjid or at an Islamic organization, especially in the situation of family, there's a lot of feuds, there's a lot of things that come up and people get friction among each other. This is where shaitan wants friction. Inna shaitan ayanzahu baynakum. Among yourselves, shaitan will no doubt he will try to cause dissent among you. And these are the times we have to remember what afina anin nas. You know the Sahaba understood this really beautifully well. Hassan radiallahu anhu was one time, he's sitting there and his servant brings him drink. And when he was pouring the drink, he dropped it. He dropped the drink. Of course this upset the, the Sahabi radiallahu anhu. So immediately he recited this ayah. al Those who suppress their anger. Those who swallow their anger. Hassan says radiallahu anhu kadam tu ghaydi. I've swallowed my anger. He heard the ayah, he said, okay, I'm not upset any, anymore. The servant continues to recite, he says, Wala afina anin nas. And they lovingly forgive people. He says, Afautuk, I forgave you too. Then he, then he recites the end of the ayah, Allah says, Wallahu yuhibbul muhsineen. It is Allah who loves those who excel, who excel in their religion, who excel in their consciousness of Allah. He says, Go, you're a free man. He, he set him free. Because just because he heard the ayah, these ayat are supposed to exact change in our behavior. Welcome back to Hasten to Goodness. I hope you enjoyed that report by Brother Norman Ali Khan. Uh, Shaykh, uh, Brother Norman was speaking about forgiveness indeed, and he was speaking about anger also between spouses, and perhaps our topic, anger management, uh, we can relate to the report uh, in this way. Uh, anger between spouses sometimes is the most difficult to deal with. It can happen with just a misunderstanding or a miscommunication, and this takes the real challenge now. How can you forgive your spouse or control your anger uh, and prevent the negative consequences of becoming angry with each other. Yeah, uh, quickly so uh, regarding the report, uh, I think it's is is the connection between being muhsin. Uh, you see, at the end of the day, this is Ramadan, and we're trying to be uh, attain that state of ihsan. Um, the entry to this is by not getting angry. Uh, by swallowing, that's the term he, the verb he used, right, I love it. Right, right. Swallowing your anger right. uh, or suppressing your anger or uh, uh, controlling your temper. So, because the next level that you pardon and overlook. So the first step is to control, your anger. control your anger. So uh, you're never, if, if you let loose your anger, it's over. Right. You know, attaining that level is, is right. like a, a stairs of elevation. Right. Like uh, right. in order to elevate right. to step Ihsan, step. which is the top. Because at the end of the day, uh, you want to be a muhsin right. uh, by actually uh, saying, just, just forget it. You know, right. I'm not right. only going to overlook your, uh, you're, you're done. You know, you're forgiven. Don't, right. don't right. worry about it. So the first step is, is controlling your anger. Okay. Uh, is, uh, so it's, it's a key. I, I go back to uh, the issue of spouses. And yeah, us. please, please, Shaykh. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what it is, but, um, you know, a lot of damages happen to our homes. Uh, as if, you know, shaitan uses anger as well to uh, break families, uh, destroy marriages. 
you know, a lot of times, uh, brothers, uh, they come to me and they tell me, Sheikh, I, I divorced my wife. I told my wife, you are divorced. And then, why did you do this? <laughs> and then, guess what? She got me angry. Right. Well, you know, first of all, yeah, th th this is the, the, the key here. There is nobody who divorces his wife when he is not angry. <laughs> 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 right. I mean, I have never. <laughs> who would do that? I right. mean, I have never heard of somebody who goes to his wife. Ha, 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 ha. Right. I divorce you. I right, mean, right. So you must be angry. Right, right. So you must get angry. Right. Uh, uh, now, that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed that responsibility uh, in your hand as a man to dissolve that relationship. Because the, 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 that, that relationship get dissolved with one word. word. It's a big trust. Allah trusted us with that. It's a big trust. Right. Imagine a marriage can finish uh, with the husband saying, I divorce you to his wife. It's over. Right. Uh, especially if he has done this already twice before. You see, when, when we talk about divorce, and that's really when it hits hard. You see, الطلاق مرتان. You can divorce your wife two times. This is called revocable divorce. I mean, I, I, I can take her back. I can take her back within the three months. Okay. The idda. Right. Without the need to go back to the father, without oh, re-establishing a marriage contract. Right. Okay. But after the idda, after the three months, it's you can take her back still, but with a new contract. Contract, a new dowry, right, right. A, a new uh, like if, like from, like the first time. Like the first time. But now what happens is if you divorce her twice and then this is the third time and she gets you angry and you tell her I divorce you for the third time, this is called irrevocable divorce. That means this woman has to go and marry someone else randomly and then he randomly divorces her and then you marry her, remarry right. her again. Right. I mean, it can be uh, planned, otherwise yeah. you fall into another. But uh, here's what I want to say. This is the devastating uh, uh, consequences. consequences of uh, not controlling your anger. Right. Your wife is going to get you angry. There is no right. question about it. But right. who said that you should divorce your wife when you're angry? Uh, you know, uh, a question that you always ask uh, these brothers. Do you normally take a financial decision, a decision uh, regarding your financial uh, a business transaction when you're angry? Good point. Sure. Do you sell your house when you're angry? No, no. Do you buy a car when you're angry? No. You think about it. <laughs> That's uh, a great point. Sir. Yeah. For, uh, in a way, um, I think, uh, you know, for me to sit here and, and talk to the sisters, don't get the brothers angry. Right. Uh, you're daydreaming. Your wife is going to get you angry. Uh, one, but uh, just don't have that word divorce in your vocabularies at all when you're angry. Think about something else that you can do, accept anger. But uh, quickly, sisters, please, Thank you, when you get the man angry, uh, don't carry on. Right. You right. know, <laughs> one, of, <laughs> one of the things the brother told me that my wife told me, if you're a man, look at this challenging, <laughs> oh, man. divorce me. If you're a man, divorce me. So the guy said, okay, I divorce you. I'm a man. Huh? Right, right. You right. see, that's where the pride yeah, issue yeah, you yeah. brought up, the ego issue. Yes. Uh, I divorce. Well, a, a woman should not Do say that. that. Right. I mean, come on, sister. Come on. Uh, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the breaking of a woman is her divorce. Regardless by, by Allah, sure, uh, women who, who, who receive divorce, it breaks them. Right, right. Even if the man was not uh, fit uh, right. for them and they did not like him, right. yet... Because at the end of the day, you're, you're called uh, a divorced woman. Right, right. You're no longer, uh, uh, right, you know, right. oh, she's divorced. Uh, right, right. Uh, we need to be Take careful. Care we need this. to watch over that. And Sheikh, because you didn't mention in the beginning that anger management often involves the people around the angry person. All right. So this is a great point. So for both spouses, when one is angry, leave, leave that person to uh, relax and to... You to see, I think once it comes to spouse, husband and wife, w we do have an issue. I mean, it has to be addressed. The issue is, th that's why we're called the opposite genders. When women get upset, when women, uh, plural, right, yeah, women, uh, yeah. they get upset, they like to talk about the problem. Right. But when men get upset they don't and like angry, they don't like 
they want to seclude themselves. Right. They want to go inside the room and feel the oppression. And <laughs> 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 I'm being oppressed on the street. It's what they do, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, yeah. It's two different personalities. Yeah, two different personalities. But now, accommodation has to be made. You see, you secluding, because she's going to go crazy if she doesn't talk about this problem. Right. And guess what? If you don't give her the platform, what right. she will do? It's like going to the United Nations. Right. Guess who is the United Nations? Her mother. Your mother-in-law. Mother <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. going to come into the, uh, the, 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 the issue here. Right. She's she probably going to call a friend. Right. And, and what if that friend is not trustworthy? Subhanallah. And, and what happened between you is very personal. Right. You know, right. there are very personal things between the husband of and course. wife. You know, sh that your secrets now are passed on outside your home. Yeah. Other people would come in and, and nose their, their uh, and, right. and, 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 and uh, stick their nose in your business. And right. uh, uh, yeah, take, take a minute or two, take five minutes, you know, feel, get that feeling, right. get satisfied by that feeling of being oppressed. But Amen. right away, you have to address the issues. You know, you're the head of the family, you're the man, and we need to talk about it. But now, uh, those five minutes or, or the three, four minutes that you took should now uh, uh, put you in a different level that you're going to come and discuss the matter without anger. That's the point. Because if you go back with anger, you didn't accomplish anything. You didn't accomplish anything. Right. Listen, you were taking a break in order to come back. Uh, uh, you have already dismissed shaitan right uh, uh, and you're ready to be and you're ready to discuss this in a uh, fair way uh, you know I'm, I'm not you know we we learn this the hard way you Certainly, know uh, all of us. I, 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 I'm not uh, people don't think that I used to get so angry and uh, you know uh, subhanallah one of, one of the one of the best things that I learned <laughs> and I never forget this situation very the first year I went for Hajj the first time uh, I, I don't know yeah the first time um, so you know, normally I took a group with me, and 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 you know, uh, I I spoke to them about how Hajj is a test and it's a trial, right? And you cannot get angry, you cannot get upset. فَلَا رَفَثَ وَلَا فُسُوقَ وَلَا جِدَالَ فِي الْحَجِّ No arguing. And so here I am, Mr. Preacher, telling them. Right. So we arrived in Mecca, and we found out that travel agent placed us in a, a very low uh, class hotel <laughs> than what we were promised. Oh. Guess who got angry? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. I, I think we, you know, I was the guy who really, what happened to our preacher? R right, right. And that shows you, you know, that, that uh, I learned my lesson from there. Uh, I think it, 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 this, this is a learning experience that really uh, uh, Allah is the one who can help you control your anger. Subhanallah. Thank you. And that is the first step uh, when I talk about anger management now, how to manage your anger. Okay. The, you're not supposed to get angry to begin with, but to manage your anger, the first step is turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we'll, take a li we'll discuss that right after the break, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. And thank you guys uh, for saying to hasten the goodness. We'll be right back with more from Sheikh Reem Abu Zaid. Do you know what it smells? It's a way of life for all. It is taught in the food that they can smoke. Do you know what Islam is? It's a way of life for all. Assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Abdurrahim McCarthy coming to you from the studios in London where I'm filming my new TV show, Tarbiyah for Huda TV. In Tarbiyah, we're going to take an in-depth look into how the Muslim makes Tarbiyah of himself, how he educates himself and trains himself according to the Qur'an and to the authentic Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We're going to see how the Qur'an and how the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam trained the Muslim. And we're going to see the impact that this Tarbiyah had on the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum that made them the greatest nation known to mankind. Tarbiyah to revive ourselves and to revive our Ummah. Tarbiyah only on Huda TV during the month of Ramadan. Don't miss it.
Welcome back to Hasten to Goodness. If you're just tuning in, uh, we're speaking about anger management, how to control your anger once you get angry, and how to prevent it uh, in the first place. And Sheikh Kareem Abu Zid has been sharing personal stories as well as evidences from the Quran and Sunnah on how to do that. Hey, Sheikh Kareem, thank you for staying with me. And uh, anger management is something that every single human being on earth has to deal with, whether he's a Muslim or not. It's a very important topic. Look, we all, we're all going to get angry. There's no doubt about that as a husband, as a father, as an as a, a employee. We're going to get angry, Sheikh. So now you have to give us the tools, inshallah. Share with us some tools of how we can prevent ourselves and stop ourselves from getting angry and controlling our anger. Inshallah. But I, I want to let you know also that we're not supposed to get angry. Okay. So uh, a man came to the Prophet sallallahu <laughs> hadith is, is authentic. And he said, advise me. Um, yes, if you, yes. He said, la taghdab. Don't get angry. <laughs> Something. La taghdab. Right. Three times. Threes. Allah Akbar. Right. So we're not supposed to get angry to begin with. Right. We're not supposed to get angry. But now, Adam, all the children of Adam are sinners. We're so when we get angry, is a sin. Is something that it's a sinful thing to is do. Is a right? sinful thing to, to fall into. But now, how to manage it? Because right. that sin. It's like somebody who keeps drinking until he kills himself. Yes. As somebody who, who smokes until he kills himself. Because anger consumes you. Anger can consume you and it can kill you uh, in a way. Because of stress. Of and stress and, and, and so forth. Number one, number one, seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, you know, because uh, anger is something in the nafs between you and your nafs. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us this dua O oh Allah do not let my nafs my own self to be in control of me for a blink of an eye wala takilni ila nafsi tarfat ayn the blink of an eye not even that not even that less than that that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would come between you and your nafs that uh, triggers you to get angry so this is the first thing. Number two, when you get angry, uh, learn that this is shaitan. Shaitan got you to do this. Right away, if you are to speak, the only words that you should utter is, A'udhu Billahi min shaitan rajim Right away. Don't speak. Okay, if, if these words are not going to come out, if you're not going to say isti'ad, if you're not going to say, I seek refuge with Allah from the curse of Satan, do not speak when you're angry. Number three, change your position. Sitting down, lay down, stand up, sit down. Just change your position. Number four, remember the reward, the reward for suppressing and swallowing and controlling your temper and your anger. Uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, well, hadith is authentic. Man kavama ghaydan, whosoever suppresses his anger or swallows his anger, when he is able to do what? Apply force. Apply force, not only anger, not only loud voice, but to apply force. Uh, uh, the person in front of you, you can wipe earth with him, meaning right. you can beat, beat him, him to death. Right, right. Uh, and you're able to suppress your anger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call him in front of humanity in the day of resurrection and choose from uh, the spouses of Jannah. Uh, uh, now it's, 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 it's very rewarding, very rewarding. Uh, like in the report, is one step to attain ihsan. You see, one step to actually reach uh, uh, the rank of ihsan. Uh, for you to uh, overlook and pardon, you must suppress your anger, uh, which would lead you to being uh, uh, a muhsin. Uh, another way, and I, I, I said it already in, in, in context when I was addressing other issues uh, earlier uh, on the show, is uh, seeing other people when they get angry. Watch how foolish they look. You don't want to be one of those. Right. Yeah. The, the, the last thing is, is really, and, and it's very technical, the person who's working on you, the person whom Satan is using to get you angry, his satisfaction 
is in getting that out of you. You know, Shafi'i uh, yes. uh, made that uh, statement. يُخَاطِبُنِ السَّفِيهُ بِكُلِّ حُمْقٍ فَأَكْرَهُ أَنْ أَكُونَ لَهُ مُجِيبًا The foolish addresses me in a very humiliating way. Humiliating way. Yeah. And I hate to respond to him. Yeah. You know? Now, the fact that I'm not resp responding to him, he's not getting what he wants. يَزِيدُ سَفَاهَةً وَأَزِيدُ حِلْمًا he increases, he elevates his foolishness. foolishness against me. But guess what? My forbearance also what? Is increased. Is increasing. Uh, look at this. It's like, a, you know, when you burn musk, the, right. uh, the, the cologne or something. The cologne when you burn it, when it's right. uh, uh, the material thing, when right. you burn it, the more fire you make, the more what? Nice smells come out. So it's, it's, you it's actually defense. kill the person. With kindness. Uh, and this is what is uh, meant, by the way, you see, ليس الشديد بالسرعة The strength is not the one who... Uh, is a bodybuilder. A bodybuilder or somebody who yells loud. and No, the strong person, because he knows that you're strong. That he knows now that you're strong. Well, subhanAllah, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam took an oath on this matter when he said, ولا يزيد الله عبدا بعفو إلا عزة. You know when you suppress your anger and then the next level is that you pardon and let go of people. Allah subhanahu wa taala because of this He will increase you in 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 honor and dignity. For all of these are ways to reflect upon when we get angry, but to prevent anger is the ideal way. But again, how to prevent it? is by uh, 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 praying, uh, by uh, obedience to Allah, obedience, basically. Because the nafs will be pure. Right. When your nafs is impure, is, 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 is going to look for trouble. So someone who is performing the, the acts of the obedience of Allah, oh praying, yeah. making adhkar, who's yeah. practicing Muslim, he's likely to become less angry, less often. <laughs> they, call, they call them high. They call them high. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know the, there was a, a campaign in Al-Ahraf ibn Qais. He was knowing of... Imagine this, you know, uh, the people wanted to test his patience, that he was known of never getting angry. Allah so the people, you know, he was uh, going to his village, to his town. So the people uh, grouped one another and said, let's just follow him and just call him names and <laughs> curse him <laughs> so that we get him angry. So imagine every, you are the son of this, you are the son of that. And he's walking in front of them, not even responding. Uh, uh, until he arrived at the border of his tribe, where his tribe lives, you know, the border of his town. So he sat on a, on a, on a rock and he looked at them. <laughs> so they said, why, why are you doing this? They said, listen, uh, if you guys go inside uh, into my town and do this, my tribesmen are going to attack you. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit here until you finish insulting me. <laughs> so this way nobody hurts you. Because the man had an extreme <laughs> high level of patience. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, this, this is a king <laughs> killing us, man. I know, I know. He's angry, man. Right. You, you see that? You, you need. Yeah. I think if you if you if you if you get that piece, yeah. that you're actually killing the other person. With, yeah. Uh, when you don't get them what they want is. is that's the point. And we have that expression, Shaykh, killing with kindness. Killing with to kindness. To respond with kindness sometimes. Yes. Shaykh, I want to ask you, some people, you know, they make wudu when they're angry, they pray to raka. Is this advisable? It is advisable. Okay, you can I mean, do that. I mean, based on analogy, I mean, but I, I really no did not come across uh, a hadith. Maybe there is one and I'm not aware of it. Okay, okay, I just want to clarify uh, that with you. But they say uh, Satan was created from fire and right, water... Right. Uh, extinguishes fire. Extinguishes fire. Right. But again, this is analogy. Yes. Okay. okay, okay. We don't know. <laughs> Allah okay. knows best. Yeah. You know, I see some people. Uh, perhaps they are. Uh, but normally, with salah, by the way, yani, uh, whenever we we go through hardships, Rasul Sallam general as a general evidence okay. that whenever the messenger of Allah Sallam come across a challenging, and anger is a challenging thing, he would uh, find uh, rest in the salah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I find, some, unfortunately, sometimes if a Muslim, unfortunately, is engaged in not good behavior, like smoking or something, when a challenge comes to him or he becomes angry, he'll say, okay, I'm going to go have a smoke. I'm going to go smoke, right, okay? Right. So actually, this makes things worse because you go from being angry 
to the disobedience of Allah. Right. And this is why it's a neg negative circle if you're not careful. And that's why when we become angry, we have to turn to Allah and rely on Allah. I isn't that right, Shaykh? Like the, like the one when somebody dies, uh, his family, he goes and he drinks because he wants to forget. I mean, this is uh, escape from reality. Reality, but escape from awful to worse. Worse, I yeah. mean, to... Uh, that's not the attitude of a believer, Good you know. Uh, a believer, when, when he encounter uh, the experience, uh, he just, uh, you know, hold himself and says, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> 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 what are we, we, we going to do? You know? Sheikh, we're almost out of time, but I knew a man, a Muslim man, he was a good man, and he became very angry, and he had stopped, you know, being obedient to Allah for almost a year. And after that year, that man came back to Allah. And I felt sad for that man that he had stopped being obedient to Allah for a year because he had a challenge in his life. He turned away from Allah in a way. But after a year, he came back. I mean, so this is some, you know, he was able to get over his anger, but it took him a whole year. But it's better late than never, I suppose, right, Shaykh? Innama sabru inda sadmati al Really, to practice and exercise patience is at the first of the shock. That's when you right, show your yeah. patience. Yeah. But somebody, you know, after a year, you have no retreat. I mean, where else? No other resort but Allah. Yeah. That is why when we flee from Allah, we flee to Allah. Akbar. Look at this. فَفِرُّوا إِلَى الله. You, you know, flee to Allah. Normally, when you use the verb, you're going flee away yeah. from, yeah. not flee to. Right. Because where are you going to go from Allah? Yeah, subhanAllah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Allah, it's you know, inevitable. You have to return to Him. Just turn to Allah. Yeah. Inna so. lillahi wa right. inna ilayhi. You know, yeah. the, I think that's the attitude of dealing yeah. with, with, with issues, right. and one of them is anger. Yes. Thank you so much, Sheikh Karim. I certainly appreciate your time. Yeah. And you guys at home, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hasten to Goodness. And uh, until next time, uh, we leave you in the care of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. About the sky, searching for a lunar's light. He rejected the way of worshipping gods of clay. Prophet Ibrahim knew that Allah was near. And that the heart of a Muslim is sincere. Under the hot burning sun. He declared God is one, though with stones on his chest, easy man would not rest. The more he knew that right would conquer all, and the heart of a Muslim must be strong.